In the first corner. Yep, looks like he's trying <laughs> to get uh, get himself back together again. That's a tricky little turn right there as yes, you start up. Yes, really, lap. really is bumpy and uh, it's really tricky. Full course yellow. Yep, so there's no passing here. Um, he will need to get himself back into position in that Volkswagen there. Bruno, the BMW is ready to go. <laughs> as soon as this caution is lifted, he is this going is to be cool. giving green it up. Green flag. Yeah, green flag. Go, go, go. Ooh. Let's see if the BMW can make a move. Well, it's a great, great advantage to be in front of this track, isn't it? Yeah. They go into fixed last corner, really fast corner, and now it's really important to get into the slipstream in the car in front of you. Building up a lot of and speed. Try for a here. move on the inside in the next left. But there's a big jump here, so which makes uh, really tricky going fast here. That's big breaking, here. breaking point here. Look at the Nissan trying to get into the inside. Oof. Kept it clean. Looks like the Ferrari is having a little bit of trouble back there. Yeah. Okay, we've got to look at the flags. We can kind of get an idea of uh, see the two Japanese drivers are in fourth and fifth place right now, wow. representing Toyota and Nissan. Isn't that appropriate? <laughs> How good is it? Oh, the <laughs> Nissan lost the oh, rear. Oh, a heavy crash. Yeah. He's going to lose a lot of position. We've he got was another full course way caution. too oh, fast. Oh, another accident. Wow. They're probably trying to avoid Looks it. like there's oil on track, but he's not, so. Oh, <laughs> more contact. Well, that Audi's had a tough race. <laughs> look at the there's Nissan coming too fast here. Lost, touched the grass, and like Lewis Hamilton oh. last weekend in Barcelona. <laughs> he touched the grass, too optimistic. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so we got a full course caution, no passing. Uh, oh, wow. A <laughs> little bit of contact there. There's a uh, 60 mile an hour uh, speed limit during this caution. Looks like everybody's kind of getting back together. Um, gosh, I'm just looking at some of the uh, green flag, some of the video here, and it's I mean, I was cool for a second. Thought that might have been real footage. It looks so good. And that Renault is quick, isn't it? Yes. Ah. That's one of the Japanese drivers as well. So we know he's fast, but he seems to be struggling a little bit with, uh, with this track. Yeah, it looks like everyone is taking so much risk in the first uh, lap yeah. of the race. Uh, yeah. You know, it's better to stay, you know, out of trouble uh, first lap get a comfy rhythm and you have five long laps in the in the north left so yeah and we also have driver changes to yes, yes, as yes, well. yes. so this uh, is a team effort so the guy in the Renault is doing a great job nice clean running and not pushing into the curves and yeah now we can see all the guys at the back are taking you know a better rhythm still Ooh, some trouble for the Jaguar. Uh, mm. and we actually have a British driver in the Jaguar. Oh, you know what? Those flags are not representative of the drivers. I just fill out. <laughs> that would be too much of a coincidence. I, I apologize to our viewers up there. That was uh, that was a little too good to be true, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> when I realized the Jaguar driver was a British <laughs> British flag, I'm like, wait just a minute. The Renault is a French flag. Okay. Well, look at the Toyota chasing to the second place. That's going to be interesting into Carousel Corner. Now we have a very fast right-hander. And let's see if he tries to overtake on the inside now. Maybe he go on the right side. No, he's trying to have a good exit. Yeah, now coming to Carousel Corner. Took the BMW oversteer just a little bit yeah. coming out of there. Got a little bit oversteer on power. power. Yeah. And here we go on to the carousel. Ooh, the BMW oh. lost the rear. Ooh, Toyota's coming to the inside. Good job. Great racing here. <laughs> That's good racing. <laughs> wow, they're going side by side up into one of the trickiest sections yeah, of the track right now. Yeah, good move. Very good move from the Toyota driver. Yeah, I don't think the BMW will be able to uh, get a good mm. look at it for a while now. He's going to have to look at the replay. Yes, it's coming up to the carousel. Yes. Yeah, Just you see the BM got too late on brakes, and then the Toyota driver got really yeah. good run through the... Carousel. Yeah, it's worth mentioning there for people who may not be familiar with the Nurburgring. The carousel it actually has a part where it's concrete through that really tight uh, banking, and it really disrupts the car. Yes, yeah, it's a really, really, really hard corner for for the front splitter, especially. Uh, we suffer a lot of bottom in there, so yeah, it 
if you have a really low setup on the right height, uh, you will struggle a lot there for, for a long race stint. Ooh, looks like the Jag almost got into a little bit of trouble, but he saved it there. Mm. Mitsubishi's worked his way up to fifth. Uh, that's a great performance from him. Wow, I think he yeah. took advantage of some of those accidents that happened early on. That was a clever move from him. Taking a bow. Oh, now he's off. Commentator's curse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> apologies there, Mitsubishi. Oh, wow. We've got a great battle there with the Ferrari and the Corvette. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we can get the car Again, here, replay. big jump before the right hander. Oh. Then he lost the rear uh, too fast. So he easy came to carry really too much fast. speed over that hill. Yeah. He was too optimistic. It's a good place to spectate if you ever get the chance to visit the real Nürburgring. Yes. Because <laughs> that happens a lot. Good <laughs> good, barbecue, good barbecues there also. <laughs> good smell. Uh, Ooh, the Aston the Aston. Off. He has dropped back to eighth now. Yeah, and the leader now into Dottinger straight. Ah, big lead from the Renault, huh? Big lead, yeah. I'm really surprised. We'll see. This will be a good chance. Now, this is a good question. Um, if your teammate is doing really, really well, does that turn up the pressure on you as yeah, well? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> when, when you are waiting in the pit lane with your teammate leading the race, uh, for yeah. sure your pressure is on and uh, but yeah you have to stay you know stay calm keep it with the same pace you you know you have an advantage uh, during the race so so with a steady pace you should be you know back on to the lead and uh, you know build your speed steadily and that's the best way to you know to get into the car keeping calm exactly <laughs> that's the word of the day especially for longer races yes. like this look at these italians they've uh it was interesting, neither was able to really gain an advantage on that <laughs> long straightaway, so they're quite evenly matched on their top speed. Mm. Uh oh, wow. the now the Corvette trying on the outside. Oof. That's a. Oh, Ooh. a little bit of touch. Nice there. touch mention. there, and uh, then he has better run. Maybe he'd right here on the inside. Wow, that was tight. <laughs> Yeah, we should mention that we've got guys from Sony, Liberty, and PlayStation taking a look to make sure that this is uh, clean racing. Yes. Beautiful. Nice battle here. Really fun section. If you hit these corners just right, it feels so good. I like how we have the speed. Notice we have the speed above the Ferrari there. So yeah. Kind of uh, a new feature there in Grand Prix Sport. What a battle. These two cars are very evenly matched. Yeah. Now coming into Fluxplatz corner. The one of the most challenging corners in, in the track here. Really high speed corner. You need a lot of confidence to go flat out there. Looks like the Maybe, Ferrari. Yeah, looks like Ferrari is fast on the straight. Yeah, that uh, wow. it's Corvette versus Ferrari, a classic, classic motorsports battle. Yeah. Boy, look at that. Oh, wow, he look look Corvette has managed to reel yeah, him he in. He tries on the inside. He's defending really well. Good, very good racing. Wow, too high coming out of that. Now he's going down in the fox hole. Finally made it wow. on the outside. Good job by the Chevrolet. It's a great pass. Now, can he keep it up with that Ferrari breathing down his neck? We'll see. It's one thing to pass, it's another to actually yes. keep that position. Yes. Ooh, oh, wow, what that a was save. on the limit. <laughs> that what was on the edge. Yeah, I'm glad we see a replay that. Oh, that's uh, how yeah. he made the pass. All that's right. what happened. The Ferrari lost on, on the power exit, and then the Corvette did. Look, he made a, a, a great move. Herbs there. Yeah, he's taking full advantage of that. Pulling out a nice lead over that 458 Italia. Back on board with the BMW now in mm. fourth. The Renault is staying strong up there in front. Really, really impressive performance. Keep it in there tight. Yeah. <laughs> the BMW Z4. Looks like the Jaguar a little bit wide on that. That's the one of the slowest corners on the track. That yeah, really that's tight the slowest left by far. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Really tough for the brakes. Right now, I love this corner as well. It's really tight coming out of that now, going up. Yeah, uh, this one is down. really bumpy on the exit, so traction control doing the, a lot of work there. And now, 
Yeah, we see a big group here from P7 to P10. Looks like they close each other. So that's going to be interesting during the pit stops. Yes, and uh, we're already like almost halfway through the second lap, more than halfway through the second lap mm. almost. And uh, so we're going to start seeing those pit stops. That pit stop window is about to open. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the strategy plays into yes. it. Um, you know, a lot of these guys, this was a random drawing, so they didn't have time to plan very much. Mm. So uh, they uh, just had to say, well, um, when do you want a pit stop? There may have been some disagreements there <laughs> on what's the best <laughs> strategy. <laughs> sure. They have to be smart. They have, you know, they're a team team effort, so they, they have to look for the win, you know? So exactly. maybe they know each other and they can, you know, uh, uh, the leader, you know, can decide uh, what's the best to, to do. Look at this battle here. Look the at Aston the corp, but he's back for action. Yeah. And the Ferrari is back uh, at, the, at the front of the corp yes. again. Yes, yes, oh, we must wow. have missed something We missed there. that, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the Corvette is not going away, though. Ferrari cannot seem to lose him. And now mm. they've, got, uh, they've got heat from this Aston. This is going to be a great three-way battle yes. here. This is... Uh, now Just back in three great GT3 cars. They are really. Oh, the Ferrari on the outside of Carousel and the Corvette oh. trying again. It's, uh, it's not, not an easy thing to Oof, do, right? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's no gap for overtaking. Yeah, can you talk about this section of the track coming up? It's really, it's really kind of different. Uh-oh, the Aston goes Ooh, the off. Aston is off, the, the Corvette is off. Oh, wow, no. big crash oh, there. Oh, wow. lots of crashes. Oh, that man, that's going to really cause a uh, follow-up. We might even see a, another full-force caution as uh, yes. everybody regrouped a bit. That, that was going to be... No, it looks like we're not going to the caution. So uh, that puts the Alfa Romeo up into fifth. Uh, the Ferrari still in sixth. He was the big winner from that accident. Okay. Vichy Subaru down in ninth, but of course this is uh, this is a winner take all, but it's a team event. So uh, mm. this pit stops will be coming. The, the, the window is opening, and I see our leader is coming around to the uh, straightaway. So he will have his first option bid if he wants. He doesn't have to yet. Uh, he can still wait another lap. But I'd say we'll yeah, but uh, you know, if I'm uh, the leader in the rental, I will stay on track because right. you know when when he pits, uh, then maybe he come back on track with uh, some traffic, with some you know maybe the the group from P7 to P10 comes uh, at the same time and he will be on trouble there. So I will stay for one more lap as, as for minimum. Yeah. Ooh, like the, the Jaguar, Jaguar with uh, travel. Ooh, some contact with the Alpha there. Oh, well, yeah, that was the not good. Would probably take a look at that, but uh, it was a, a good accident. It's, a, uh, it's quite scary. So, what's the difference now between the Renault and the second guy? It's like second we've got about Toyota uh, driver. Uh, about eight seconds. So. Wow. So he's definitely putting in a great performance. But if the Italians are battling. Back at it again. Oh, they're going down the straightaway. Wow, that's going to be... This is, this is where they found themselves on the last lap. You know, they, now look, the Alpha is going for yeah. it. Looks like he's got it, definitely. That's going to be a three-wide challenge. Yeah, yeah. three-wide, three-wide. Wow, that Alpha really got a good... That's beautiful. A good pull away. He's up to 279 kilometers per hour. That is... That is look at the Jaguar trying on the outside. Well, I yeah, will not yeah, go one. there. Yeah. Oh. I will stay behind. Only one car. Yeah, that's good. That is Hard breaking point here. Scary breaking zone. Into the last corner of the track. Yeah. You see, oh, pits. Ah. Yeah, we can see the first driver speeding. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. This is going to shake everything up. So, what they're doing now is uh, they're swapping drivers. We have a. Uh, our first driver changes in GT Sport, I guess we could say. <laughs> yes. And uh, this will be interesting. Uh, they, these guys have a slight advantage because they've been able to watch their teammates. Mm. Um, look at this Alpha man. He is. Uh, he's been in a lot of battles. He's been wow. getting tired. And it's like he did make a mistake right there. Go 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 go. Uh, and our first pit stops, and I think a lot of them are already 
back out on the track. Break. Look at this. Wow, we're on board with the Subaru here. We are yeah, I can see the McLaren drivers having, you know, an issue. They stop in the, in the Ooh, pit stop. Lots of contact there. The stewards would definitely be taking a look at that. That uh, not an easy place to pass at all. Really, really high speed. Here's the replay, as you can see. Maybe wow. a very dangerous move. Yeah, in Flux Black's corner. Oh, wow. wow, that was a brave move. That was too yeah. much. Too, too much. There's no, too no much. room for two cars in that corner. No, absolutely not. And it's a shame that was a great battle. I think it looks like, it looks like mm. it's uh, rattled the Ferrari driver at this, this point. But it's tough when you make a mistake like that. How do you, how do you get yourself focused again? Do you have any tricks that you do? Well, yes. You know, <laughs> the best trick is to keep calm. No, uh, if you make a mistake like that, uh, to report to the to your team. You know, if there's any damage of the car, and and to report about the situation, and then keep, you know, keep focus, keep doing your best, and stay out of trouble again. So do kind of a reset. Right. Yeah, you have to, you your, have to forget. Yes. Yeah, you have to have a short memory in motor racing. <laughs> <laughs> One place where that is an advantage. <laughs> well, you can see the Renault driving to the limits. What a Doing a, a mega job. Big, big gap into the Toyota in second place. So yeah, yeah, let's see if he, if he stops in the next lap and they do a clean pit stop. And let's see the performance of the Renault driver in, in the second steam. That's going to be interesting to see. That will be very interesting to see. See if it's uh, in the car, obviously. Is, uh, because now we have Takahashi driving, and uh, I yes. wonder what car is he driving. Ah, I'm not sure. Because that's going to be interesting to see. He is, yeah, I can't quite tell what he's in, but yeah, one of the, obviously one of the top drivers here. Uh, he definitely is a dominant on the driver and it'll probably be a force to be reckoned with in the, uh, once the uh, full tournament begins. Again, we've already had the Nations Cup. Uh, if you missed it, um, it's going to be on the uh, PlayStation and Grand Prix YouTube channels. Uh, so you'll be able to see all the great racing action that we had. This is a Manufacturer's Cup, so we've got uh, 16 teams of two drivers each who are randomly paired, and they are driving for their cars. They're driving for uh, the manufacturer to uh, bring them glory. And uh, I think this is sort of be a, a great way for people to support the brands and the companies that, that they like, the cars that they like, and uh, repre help represent them on the world stage uh, in partnership with the FIA. It's a, it's a really interesting, uh, interesting arrangement for the, the Gran Turismo Sport uh, competitions. That's getting a little bit of a toe on the Aston. Yeah, another still. interesting battle. Again, coming into the carousel section. So, yeah. He might make a move. Uh, Very high. Corvette nice. team has certainly been, uh, been fearless during this race so far. It's been on a great show. We, we've watched them quite a bit. Yeah, good exit out from there. And now coming into carousel again. And the Corvette right behind the Aston. Yeah, good line, good on power, very nice driving. Yeah, it's great to watch this. Huh? Yeah, these are some of the best in the world at Gran Turismo. And, you know, the, even though they are so good, it's, uh, you know, this is a new game. It has new physics. Uh, they, they may not be used to these racing pods. Um, so to come out and drive at this level, at this level of competition with the entire world watching, uh, the entire, uh-oh, Jaguar got into a little bit of trouble there. But uh, as we can say, it's the entire GT planet. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. There is, is watching. So this is a big stage and a very, very uh, difficult situation to jump in these cars, jump in these sleds, and not really know what you're going to be facing with. You can see there's uh, the gap is shown there at the, behind the Jaguar. A Ooh, nice little the Subaru on the limit there. there. <laughs> This is one of the most tricky corners here right now. The car lifts completely out of the ground and, and it's really, really challenging to control the car. Very high speed here. And then little touch on the brakes. And now we change. 
A nice battle here for seventh position. Yeah, wow. The Renault Sport, so very, very impressive performance by that team. Let's see if Martinez keeps the same pace as his uh, teammate in the Renault and holds the lead for the end of the race, but uh, a mega job by this driver on the Renault. You know, he stay out of trouble all his laps and, you know, delivering an amazing pace. But I wonder where is Takahashi. I'm sure he's recovering oh, and... Uh, yeah, it looks like Martinez, that's... Uh, from uh, Madrid, Spain, so you're certainly mm. familiar with that. A Spaniard doing well. Yeah. He was a GT Academy finalist in uh, 2014. Yes, so, um, I remember him quite well, doing a great job. But it was a tough year, very, you know, very close battle until the end in GT Academy. Very good. It's like the Corvette finds itself uh, breathing down the neck of another competitor. He's going after the Mitsubishi hard. Wow. He, oh, looks like the Mitsubishi is going into the pits into the now. Pits, yeah. So we get to see another. Um, driver change for them, but uh, they're going to slide down the leaderboard a bit. But the cars are starting to get spaced out. You can see uh, some of the gaps are there on the side of your screen. So the Renault has not. Look at that. He's uh, Martinez. There we go. Still, oh, Martinez <laughs> a bit wide on <laughs> that corner, but yeah, yeah he He's gives the lead. He holds the lead at the moment and. Let's see if he can keep the pressure, no? Because it's, it's quite a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. This is the inaugural Manufacturer's Cup <laughs> in Gran Turismo Sport on the line here. So I'm sure uh, I'm sure the Renault guys uh, here are watching and are very, very nervous right now because this is a great showing mm. for their car on one of the toughest tracks on both drivers and cars in the world. Hard to believe we're already on lap four. Mm? We're already on lap four. So uh, as soon as this Renault comes back around again, we'll be on the final lap. So wow. uh, he, Martinez does not have too much farther to go. He just has to be calm, be steady. Gets the Toyota up in the second now. Um, not sure if they've done their pit stop. 18 but, seconds uh, so. They will need to be doing that if not. Uh, no, no, he's done the pit stop because he's 18 seconds behind the Renault. So yeah. Yeah. Like uh, eight seconds. Oh, we've got the Ferrari was off there. Not good. Ooh, wow, that was a big one. Big accident there. Yikes. Oh, the Mercedes got caught up in that as well. Obviously, not something you want to see, but uh, that's an advantage of virtual racing, of course. <laughs> uh, and much less expensive and much safer. Yes, much safer. Sure. <laughs> Running along with the Jaguar here. Really tricky little uh, left-hand corners coming up here as they go down the hill back into that now. Subaru has done a great job. They're up to P4 now, and uh, yeah, they were starting at the back of the grid, so nice recovery. Like we've got a replay here. Let's see. Probably drop the wheel there. Easy oh, to do. Yeah. No. At least the Jaguar was able to avoid a, yeah. an accident there. That will always make it's you do a never quick a good idea <laughs> running into the grass, as you can see. Easy to do here. Oh wow. Yeah, we we could see the Jaguar losing the rear, and the other guy could do nothing to avoid the contact. So. Yeah, that's, a, that's never a situation a, a racing yeah. driver wants to yeah. find himself yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. This Mitsubishi is, uh, seems like he's just kind of going slow and steady. He's uh, making his way up to the back, but then some incident always happens. <laughs> 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 uh, it's going to be hard. I think uh, really strong showing from the Toyota and the Renault. They, uh, looks like things are a little bit quiet at the front of the grid, but middle of the pack, we've got mm. a lot of action going on. If you look at these guys' faces, you can really see the focus in their eyes. And it takes concentration on these longer races. It's not just about, you have to sort of um, throttle, I guess, or hold back uh, your concentration. If yeah. you concentrate too much too soon, uh, you can get tired too soon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's when the mistakes come at the end of the race. And yeah, 
Let's see if the Spanish colleague can keep that pressure on, on, on the lead, and, but he's still doing a great job, so uh, you know, I'm trying to follow Takahashi's performance because I can see him going up on, you know, into, the, into the standings, so Here's yeah. Three cars going into the carousel, this will be interesting. Mm. They've all taken some pretty good lines through there. Mitsubishi went a little bit wide, dropped some wheels off the concrete. But it did not cost him any position. Coming up on the highest uh, section of the racetrack. A lot of uh, camping goes on here during the 24 hour race. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots no, of barbecues. I, I recommend everyone to, to go to watch that race uh, once in, in their life because it, the atmosphere is just unique. And uh, if you walk around the, you know, the Green Hill, and you see, you know, the atmosphere with all the German people, uh, you know, doing the barbecues is, is, is such a great fun. And watching the cars running at high, very high speed in the, into the forest is something unique to watch. Yeah, there's really nothing like it in, in motorsports. The mm. track this tight. It's like the BMW easily got yeah. around the uh, Toyota there. So that's a, that's a podium position right there. Wow, what really happened? Let's see what happened. I'm guessing the Toyota got into trouble. Ah, somehow. he went off. Yeah. Uh, that's the we'll mini carousel. That. So let's see if he can recover that place. He can fight back or yeah, we're coming maybe the, the BMW lap. driver has a lot of pace. But we can see here in Dottinger Strait, the longest straight in the world, <laughs> probably. It never ends. So yeah, you can see it's on the slipstream. He's going to try on the outside of the downhill at the end of Dottinger Strait. Yeah, he's made it. Wow. Yeah, good job. Let's see the braking here. Wow. That was clean. Good move by Toyota driver. Very easy to make a mistake. And in now braking. coming into the last lap. So it's going to be exciting last lap. Yeah, looks like the Renault has held on to that lead. He's uh, already made it through this uh, first section of mm. uh, corners. So that's what he is. Yeah, and look, Takashi is coming, maybe. Look at the lap that. Six minutes, 40 seconds for the Subaru. So fastest lap of the race. And uh, he's not far away from the podium positions. Eh? Yeah, it looks like he's uh, two tenths faster than, than the uh, Renault. It looks like that's, uh, that's a very strong performance. Very uh, good. But it may be too little too late on this. Uh, well, lineup. but uh, to be honest, Subaru driver is not more than eight seconds away from the podium position, and he catch them more than eight seconds in, in the previous lap. So that's going to be a good end of the race. Look at this battle for second yeah. right here. Wow. <laughs> and this is helping a lot for Subaru drivers. Yeah, because when two, battle, when two drivers battle like this, it slows you down. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is... This is a scary place to do wow, battle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's gonna try on the inside here. No. Definitely had 277 kilometers per hour down through there. Good. Very high speed. That Toyota is fast. This BMW is uh, coming. Subaru driver is coming. So it's gonna be a three, three cars fighting for second position. Wow. <laughs> At the end of this race. Coming out of the uh, foxhole now. A really tricky corner right there. It's easy to take too much speed. Mm. But the actual track, that curb on the outside mm. is so beat up. You yeah. know, just yeah. get a little yeah. bit too aggressive. Yeah. Look at this battle. This is on the final lap. This is great stuff. Good job by the BMW driver, keeping on, you know, in a clean way and not trying to you know to be too aggressive so he's waiting for the right moment to overtake the Toyota exactly well now as a, as a driver would you rather be battling for a position or defending a position I mean you obviously want to be in front of course, yeah but, uh, now we are on board the Subaru and he already can see the podium guys the BMW and the and the Toyota drivers yeah he's, he's getting close really quick so it's gonna be very close end of the race. Oh, Toyota is on the grass. Maybe BM is passing. Yeah, good move. 
And now let's see if the he pulls away or maybe the Toyota driver comes back. Look, look the Subaru <laughs> driver. He's flying now on track. Probably the fast, yeah. He said the best lap of the race. Yeah, this driver in this car, they, they obviously have a thing for one another. <laughs> yeah. This is a very, very impressive bit of driving. He, is, he has a great shot at a podium right here. Coming up on a really fast section. Up the hill, wow. really, really challenging. And now Toyota chasing the BMW. Look here at the and Subaru. Subaru trying. Oh, no, he's, getting, he's, he's holding back. Wow, that's gonna be really interesting <laughs> to watch. <laughs> Toyota side on the outside. Side. I think he's got it. Yeah. But the Subaru is going for a move as well. And now into very fast left-hander. And up now the again now. a really high-speed right-hander. Hard braking point here. Let's see the Subaru driver. Nah, very high level eh, of driving. Extremely impressive. And this is the first time these drivers have played this game on this track, and yeah. they didn't even know what cars they were. Well, the BM trying a Look at strange this. line in the carousel, and the uh. Subaru driver, whoa, oh, oh, no. lost the rear. Oh, devastating that was really BMW unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. That was a great battle shaping up. Uh. I really hate to see that. The uh, stewards will probably want to take a look. Uh, it's going to be got some guys from Blitney and PlayStation watching. Yeah, the let's action. see. The BMW driver went wide. Subaru on the inside. Oh. And then Subaru maybe too early on power and lost the rear. Yeah, didn't look like anything intentional that can that can happen there. He, was, he knew that, uh, that that BMW was right outside the corner and he wanted yeah. to kind of get a jump on it. But you can't do that in the carousel. You no, have no, to be sure. patient. It's a very tricky corner. As we could see previously in the previous laps, uh, many drivers doing mistakes in that corner, so it's like in real life. Now the Subaru really is battling for that second yeah. spot. He's coming after the Toyota. Yeah, impressive job by Subaru driver. Shame about that contact with the BMW because we could be talking about the three cars battle at the, until the end. Nice exit of the corner by the Subaru, but yeah, no space for two cars there. Ooh. Careful. <laughs> no curve, my dude. Just about to put a wheel off. He's kind of, uh, looks like he's falling back just a little bit. He's yeah, running out of time to make a move. But, but he's on the right place because he's coming into the Dottinger straight and he will be right on the, you know, on the slipstream of the Toyota. So maybe he can make the move into the all this long straight. And uh, Renault coming for victory. Oh, oh, contact between the podium guys. Wow, that got the Subaru up to second place. Wow. What happened there? Let's see the replay. Uh, uh, he lost the rear. His own mistake. I uh, hate to see that. Just a few corners left. The pressure was there. Looks like the Renault is one tricky breaking point. Yeah, Away. Renault coming into the last corner. 